two, three, listen. Yeah, my name, my name is Morten Helberg. Um, I'm from Sweden. And as uh, Daniel just pointed out, I've been actually doing canoeing, uh, in particular whitewater canoeing, for a long time, uh, long part of my, of my life. Um, I was born in Sweden, uh, and there you can actually drink the water in 90% of the rivers. This is me, uh, racing in northern Sweden. But I could also have been born in another country, and been this man, paddling among plastic, uh, toxic chemicals, and in fact, most rivers around the world is, is today um, polluted by toxic and plastic materials. Uh, Eleven years ago, I met two professors that were doing research in natural chemistry. They've been done research and investigating questions why, why is the tree becoming so strong? What is the chemistry behind the leaf becoming water repellent? Or why does some trees actually resist rot fungus better than other trees? From this research, they developed a technology which we call modification of cellulosic fibers. With, with this, they had been able to click on organic molecules to the cellulose, which is the most abundant renewable material that we have, and create materials that can replace plastic materials, make textiles water repellent and, and replacing hormone disturbing chemicals, and actually treating wood in, make, in order to make them uh, durable and replace heavy metals and fungicides that are currently in use. Uh, I will give you an example about our wood treatment technology. Um, which is now being commercialized in whole northern Europe. Uh, in traditional pressure treatment of wood, you're using chemistry like the CCAs, copper, chromium, and arsenate, which is one, some of the most toxic chemistry that you can actually find. In Sweden alone, I mean, we're a tiny nation, we're only 9 million people, we, we pressure treat 1.2 million cubic meters of wood every year and are using 5,000 tons of heavy metals for this wood impregnation. Um, with our technology, we've instead looked at it in a different way. Uh, in nature, natural silicon mo molecules are taking up in trees, but also in rice husks in order to create fungal resistance. And we've used these small silicon mo molecules and attached them to the tree, uh, and that creates a physical barrier to the rot fungus instead. This now is being commercialized in whole northern Europe. Uh, we are um, now in eight countries, and actually this silicon molecules is also fire resistant. It is incombustible, so we get a very fire-resistant material. Um, this is just some of the examples. We're working together with the local government in Stockholm in order to create non-toxic environments for the schools, for the children to play in. We're working in order to preserve natural reserves. This is a dock built with our material, uh, eco-friendly homes, and now also docks in Denmark. So this is a new product which we're just currently supplying. Uh, for our technology, we've been awarded many prizes. We've been awarded like WWF Climate Solver, and in 2015, I got to go to the climate conference in Paris as we were appointed the Sustainia 100 company. Uh, we're now really scaling the technology. We have, during the last three years, uh, growth with eight times in revenue. We have, we had, last year, we had USD 8 million in revenue. And we have replaced 3,000 tons of toxic chemicals, treated 25,000 cubic meters of wood, and we got, recently got listed on Nasdaq Stockholm. So, uh, my, my, but this is only the start, really. Uh, we now have biocomposite material that we are launching this year, which can replace plastics in many materials. Um, we are now also going into the US market. And uh, my, I just want to uh, get out to you. And uh, everyone that wants to help us to create a very non-toxic society is welcome to join us. My vision remains clear. I want to create rivers where everybody can drink the water all over the world. Thank you.